We've made some big improvements to the raw editing workflow when using Adobe Lightroom Classic and Topaz Photo AI, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So let's start with this photo right here, and you can see that if we zoom in, uh, there's a lot of noise because I had to shoot at a higher ISO to get a faster shutter speed because of the available light. There wasn't that much of it. Now, before I start editing photos, I prefer to have my noise reduction applied first. And ideally, I wanna apply that noise reduction to a RAW file. And the great thing is, is with Topaz Photo AI, if you send your RAW file to it, it will use that actual RAW sensor data to give you even better noise reduction results. And so I'm gonna show you how to send the RAW file directly to Topaz Photo AI. First thing is you'll go to the File menu, and then you will go to Plugin Extras and select Process with Topaz Photo AI. Now, in the event that you don't see this listed here, try going to Plugin Manager, make sure that Topaz Photo AI is selected here in this left column, and then make sure that Enable is selected. If it's disabled, you won't see it, so you will want to click on Enable, and that would bring it back into the File menu. So now let's go to File, Plugin Extras, and then select process with Topaz Photo AI. You can see right off the bat, we are in split screen view. If I toggle left and right, you can see just all that noise is removed and it's really nice. I also wanna point out the autopilot, which is one of the hallmark features of Topaz Photo AI. You can see that we are using raw image data. And here's what's also pretty cool. If we go to zoom to fit, one of the things that Topaz Photo AI will attempt to do is detect the subject in the photo. And in this case, you can see that the subject was detected. And if we hover over that, you can see that we automatically apply a very clean mask to the subject. Now that's important because let's say you wanna go ahead and apply a little bit of extra sharpening, just in case. All I wanted was noise reduction, but in the event that you wanna apply a little extra sharpening, you can apply any setting you want beyond what Autopilot recommends. So I'll enable sharpen, for example, here. And the nice thing is, is that there is a subject only toggle, which will apply the sharpening only to the subject. So you don't have to worry about sharpening things in the background. And you can adjust the strength, for example. And then if we zoom in, you can see that not only do we have uh, that noise reduction applied, but we will now also have some extra detail in the face, which is really nice. And if you want to revert back to whatever autopilot suggests, just click on this reset to autopilot settings button. When you're done, click on the blue save to Adobe Lightroom Classic button to return back with this newly created DNG file. When you return to Lightroom Classic, you'll now see that you have your original raw file and the DNG file that was created by Topaz Photo AI stacked together. And that's a really convenient feature. If you select both of these files and go into compare mode, you can see that if we zoom in, you now have the raw file on the left with all of that noise. And on the right here, you have a much cleaner and sharper image. One of the other nice things about this DNG file is that you can apply the same raw editing workflow using Lightroom's develop module. For example, you can go ahead and take your white balance dropper and get a custom white balance based off of the raw data. Another nice thing that you can do as far as creative editing is go to the profile browser and you will now see that you have all of the Adobe profiles as well as your camera matching profiles. So you can select one that you like and start going from there. We also support batch processing for raw files. So let's say I want to edit both of these Eagle photos. I'll select both of them. They are the original straight out of camera raw files. If I go to file, plugin extras, and back to process with Topaz Photo AI, it'll send both files to Topaz Photo AI for processing. In the film strip on the bottom, you can see both of the raw files that we sent from Lightroom Classic. You can see the fantastic job that Photo AI has done in terms of automatically detecting that there is a lot of noise that needs to be removed. It also detected the subject, again, by hovering over the subject in the autopilot panel. And as always, if you wanna overwrite or add any additional settings or processes to the autopilot, you can do so. For example, in this image, let's say I want to apply some extra sharpening and just apply it to the subject, I can do that. And now if I swipe, you can see how basically we have all of that really sharp detail throughout the eagle, but we don't have any of that distracting noise. 
And if I click on the second image in the film strip, it will automatically process that one. And just like that first image, you can see here, all of that noise is removed, but we have the detail that's been preserved. When you're ready, just click on the blue save button to return both images back to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And again, they will be stacked with their original raw files. And as you can see, here is the first raw image with the DNG stacked together, second raw image with the DNG stacked together. And if we select both of them and go into compare view, you can see just how much of an improvement there is from Topaz Photo AI and same thing with this photo here. And the goal is that you now have a much cleaner starting point to begin your creative editing, which is arguably the fun part of photo editing. And again, that's thanks to Topaz Photo AI and the improved raw editing workflow with Adobe Lightroom Classic. To learn more about Topaz Photo AI, head over to topazlabs.com. Thank you very much.